we're gonna keep up here and uh, we're gonna hmm, use our cavalry come on guys move up why do we have a huge hole in our ranks here oh enemies are kind of running away I believe uh, our mortars are, are wrecking havoc on, on the enemy. Uh, we should push a couple of more guys there. And we're gonna move our mortars a bit closer to the front line so they can they can hit more of enemy troops. Look at our skirmishers. Doing God's work. Uh, just go after them. Do we have any reserves? We just have skirmishers, so we're just gonna employ them. Hello there, folks. This is Hathman, and I hope you're having a lovely day. We are playing Ultimate General American Revolution once again. It's August 11th, 1776, and uh, I have a pleasure of presenting you New York campaign. The map will expand in a day. But before this happens, I just wanted to showcase what happened in the previous couple of months, because if I remember correctly, the last episode was in May. And uh, ever since that, we, we were able to conquer all the enemy territories. Everything is ours. I had to fight over a dozen of British invasions. And it was kind of tiring, to be honest. I didn't want to film it because nothing much was happening. Just fighting again and again uh, for not much gain. But uh, we managed to do something pretty significant with our economy. You can see that our financial report is pretty damn good. We have almost 900 construction material, which is terrific we have large population large workforce we have over 400 officers currently which is tremendous 47 is the army limit and if we go to construction management you can see that we are actually building something pretty much anywhere uh, as, as far as you can see so we're using a lot of construction material a lot of money but currently it's paying off and um, let me uh, show you production. We are currently producing U.S. muskets for our line infantry. We are producing uh, short brown best 69 for the cavalry and hunter rifles. We have 36 factories. Look at uh, headquarters. We are not really renting any factories here. We are doing this all by ourselves. Um, of course, we have uh, mortars in our service. We have 56 already. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Um, but let's go to the market. You can see the state of guns and um, how much we have. It's uh, pretty impressive. And uh, let's go to headquarters. We're we just going to talk slightly about technologies. Uh, if we look here, um, the main research was conducted. We took dragoons, we took skirmishers, and now we're searching grenadiers. Uh, the next point would probably be guards company. But first, we need Army Innovation 3. Um, the next section would be Chief of Intelligence. Um, let's check it out here. Uh, we researched university. And uh, now we're going to be getting four officers per week. And um, now we're researching domestic intelligence. We're going to go for the next general here. When it comes to artillery chief, we went for mortars instead of howitzers. As I said... I'm not so optimistic when it comes to current balance with howitzers. I don't think they do much. Uh, so I went for mortars. They're great. Really, they scare horses. They scare uh, men. The only problem is that they're kind of very short range. So you have to keep them very close to the front line. But behind your infantry. Well, with howitzers and uh, your normal guns, you keep them in front of your infantry so they can use canisters. Mortars cannot do that, but they can do a lot of killing nevertheless. And now we're researching 10-inch um, mortars and maybe later the 13-inch ones. Uh, let's check uh, Quartermaster Chief. And I oh, didn't want to do that. Give me a second. Here we researched uh, escorted supply transportation. And uh, now we're researching supply house or supply facilities because this will increase our uh, provision for the winter and uh, with chief engineer is the final one uh we uh researched hunter rifle for our skirmishers and now we're researching spanish musket and the next station will be brown best 69 which we fully intend to use 
And, uh, well, uh, let's see the state of the army. Uh, as you guys can see here, in, we have some army in, in Boston. Uh, we have a couple of troops in Leicester. We have troops to the northeast. Just in case the enemy decide to kind of land on this side. Uh, here we have uh, an army with uh, Benedict. And uh, we have, well, some enemies here. We're not going to fight them just because we we cannot, cannot beat them in the open fight. Um, I'm transporting this supply wagon um, regiment to the south. We're going to need as many supplies as we can. And uh, here in Fort Montgomery, we have actually uh, three infantry regiments. We have two cavalry regiments. This is the first time we see cavalry in this campaign. And um, here we have about 3,000 men, uh, professional and militia, with the George Washington. And in Hartford, we have uh, even more. Uh, we're just waiting for the invasion. So we are waiting for the next day to come. Um, let's slowly prepare for that. Let's speed it up. Our guy's gonna kill. And then we're gonna move up. That's it. So New York is opening up. Uh, as you can see, the front is not... Oh, are we being assaulted here? I guess we are. What the hell is happening? Hmm. Should we fight? What should we do? Now let's get there and try to support them, I guess. Come on. Make sure you join Garrison. We're gonna wait for a second. Um, I just want to transfer our troops here. Uh, because there will be a a massive battle over there. We're waiting for the Brits to land. Um, damn it. I don't think we can win, actually, in a fair fight. So, we're gonna try not to have a fair fight, if that's possible. Come on guys, everybody charge in. Yeah, they're, they're running away. What is the situation here? Nah, Connecticut, it's 100% loyalty. We don't care. And this is when we actually, during the the unfilmed part of the campaign, they ask you to pay 10,000 US dollars and 600 US muskets, basically, um, to form new units uh, in New York. And this will be our help when it comes to defending New York. But a good thing is that we are managing to defeat them here. Come on, guys. While we look at in the south, what's happening there? Uh, George Washington, my friend, you are needed here. We're just going to join a brigade. Enemies are running away. Uh, we're going to get one of you guys. You're going to capture Fort, Fort Clinton. We also need these guys to get the hell out and come here. We need to slow down everything. Come on, guys. Move, please. Uh, British are moving in. We're going to join a brigade. 
And we're going to join the brigade. Those guys should be here. Come on. Supplies as well. Uh, this is intense. We have way too many troops here. Uh, su supply wagon got messed up pretty bad. You guys going to go back to Montreal. We're going to give you willpower. Uh, maybe we need another unit in Fort Frederick. And where are the Brits? Can we see them? Not yet on the horizon. I have to slow down everything just because it's uh, it's a messed up situation. You guys change the formation. Uh, you guys gonna move here? I hate that they're not really moving as I ordered. Because you do not want to show your side to the enemy. Enemy's gonna land here. Oh yeah, they're they're coming in. Uh, cavalry should. No, no, no. You guys move there. You're gonna join. Here comes the enemy. Come on, come on. Can we actually start the fight? Uh, they're... Okay, now is the time. As you can see, we have uh, probably over 10,000 men here. Our cavalry will come as reinforcements. Uh, but we do have superiority in men. So, uh, let's start the battle. Let's see what we can do here. This is probably the most important one. There will be three separate invasions in like a, a few day time. Ah, oh, come on. Look at, look at this. I hate when they give you this kind of uh, front line. So our, our wing here is exposed to the enemy. Uh, that we're going to take some unnecessary casualties here. I, I hate to see it. You guys going to go there. Uh, you guys just going to form up. The same will be... Look at our cannons, man. That's that's horrendous. I, I hate to see it. What is this? Uh, these are mortars. We have to keep them... Very close to the front line. Yeah, I guess these guys are just going to be chilling here. That sucks. Uh, we're in kind of a pickle here. This is the, the, the a really, really bad positioning for our army to be in. Like, we're basically flanked here by the entirety of the enemy army. I hate when this happens. I just hope we're gonna kill this, this ho. I know it's not pronounced like that, but I'm just gonna call him ho. Because I, I don't like him. Do me. Uh, let's move. With these guys, we have to pressure their, their center as fast as we can. Because otherwise, we're gonna have a lot of problems on, on this flank. Uh, you guys gonna go to the actual flank. And uh, you guys just gonna push up. Go to the flank. Push up. We're gonna send our cavalry here. Uh, let me see. What do we have out of cannons here? We have these guys, and we're gonna move them. We're gonna move them forward. Uh, go to the open space so you can have uh, 
some good targets. Uh, you guys gonna come closer. Uh, those guys move. This is a massive army. Like, we have over 10,000 men. They have 7,000. Come on. They're already firing at us from, from their bloody cannons. Uh, just gonna move up a little bit. Allow our cannons to use canister shot. We lost the captain. Uh. Did we kill their general or what? I don't know. You guys, you hold your line. Uh, maybe this is bad position for the skirmishers. I don't know. Can we use our cavalry to deter their flank here? Could be really cool. Uh, what's happening in other areas? Oh, these guys are hard pressed. Oh yeah, but the canister shot is, is doing its thing. Hold. They cover. Excellent. Our batteries are forming up behind us. Uh, we're just going to push some troops ahead. Oh, ho, ho. what is the hell is cavalry doing here? Move back. We're just going to go to the flank. Nope. We're in a really bad position. Let's hold. Uh, you're gonna retreat. It, it's not worth it here. Uh, we're just gonna show up on their flank. Uh, we're gonna move our cavalry. Uh, what's happening with the other flank? Yeah, you can definitely see that we have more men than they do. I'm just afraid of their cannons. We're gonna keep up. Here, and uh, we're gonna mm, use our cavalry. Come on, guys. Move up. Why do we have a huge hole in our ranks here? Oh, enemies are kind of running away, I believe. Uh, our mortars are, are wrecking havoc on, on the enemy. Uh, we should push a couple of more guys there. And we're gonna move our mortars a bit closer to the front line so they can they can hit more of enemy troops. Look at our skirmishers. Doing God's work. I'll just go after them. Do we have any reserves? We just have skirmishers, so we're just gonna employ them. Are you going to be in reserve there? We're in currently a better position. We have a kill zone here and we'll make sure that our troops can always fire the enemy. We're going to eat fire from their cannons for sure, but I think that we're in a better position. Our cavalry is very tired, so we just need to chill a little bit. These guys going to wait up. Uh, skirmishers, move up. You guys reinforce this flank. You can see why waters are so important. 97 kills already. These guys. How about we send you guys after them? No, no, no. You go back a little bit. You guys are gonna engage the enemy. Just destroying their grenadiers. <gasps> I 
Oh my god, no, no, the wagons. Come on. In charge, charge in. Charge in. I didn't see. How did they get here? Oh, they're gonna get hammered. Like, cover them. You're gonna take some, some friendly fire. They are firing at our skirmishers. Oh ho, their artillery is open here. Maybe we can do something more. Okay, this is a bad position. Uh, maybe we should... Should provide some support? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you guys gonna charge it into the enemy artillery and hit you as well. Uh, we're gonna use our cavalry. Come on, guys. Move up. Friendly fire? Where the hell is that friendly fire coming from? They're crumbling here? Okay, we're... Uh, mm, let's go back. Do you not want to get targeted by the enemy artillery? We're keeping them in this array here. Ready. Doing a really good job. I'm kind of proud of our guys. Uh, let's move up, maybe. This will make us in the range of the enemy artillery, but I think it will be worth it. Let's move up these guys. Well, skirmishers provide some kind of fire. Can we go into melee? Yeah, we're losing horsemen for no reason. Okay, we have the range. Uh, maybe it's time to use some of our reserves. We've been very conservative so far. But maybe now is the time to do something more aggressive. These guys should be breaking. He's just gonna go there. With uh, those guys, we're gonna come a bit closer. so many troops there so I'm not really willing to charge in easily uh, but maybe we can move our batteries as well come on guys uh, this is mortar move up didn't see you there uh, you're gonna go there and you're gonna supply munition especially to our mortars I think that they needed the most Okay. Let's move up our cavalry. We want to be conservative because we don't have many horses and it will be a bit more difficult to... Oh, yeah. This is what we were waiting for. She's going to charge in and try to kill as many of them as possible. Charge. Charge. Whatever you guys can find. Whatever you guys can hit. Hit. Go after Grenadiers. We want to take their cannons away. Nah. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Uh, these guys got probably escape. But we're going to do as much as we can to prevent that. We have cavalry in a good position over here. Uh, should we? Yeah, let's try to chase after them. Oh, I forgot to do something. We need to order our cannons to stop firing. Otherwise, there will be some friendly casualties. 
Now, I have to stay where you are uh, with these guys as well. We kind of have to do it manually. Yep. See how laggy it is right now. I just hope the game doesn't crash. <laughs> it would suck. But we have them pretty much surrounded. Uh, cavalry, move up. Uh, these guys gonna escape. No point. Come on, guys. Why are you exhausted? Look at that. Look at that, boy oh boy. Charge in, guys. Why are they walking through our cavalry like that? I thought those cavalry can glitch out. I feel like they should be able to easily capture the enemies, but for some reason they don't. Sometimes they can, sometimes they literally cannot capture them. Have no idea why. in with these guys now uh, let's speed it up a bit maybe it's difficult for them to surrender because they're a big unit we need to thin them many of them managed to escape surprisingly I did not expect that to happen. Uh, we shattered a lot of them. But I feel like a lot of them managed to escape as well. Which is not ideal. Uh, and I gotta catch them. Yeah, it was a, this was a great victory. Come on, hit them. They managed to escape. Yeah, that sucks. Let's go back to the global map and let's see what's happening here. Uh, we killed over 4,000 of them. Took all of their guns. We had 500 casualties and yeah, you can see that it's almost a 20,000 men battle. Uh, what's happening with them? He's surrendering. That's cool. No enemy general leftovers here. Uh, let's engage the enemy. Oh, okay, they're surrendering. Uh, are we going to use uh, George Washington to take some guns and... You guys gonna take them as well. And I just wanna do something else where we're here. Uh give them some willpower. We're gonna double click. Uh we're gonna add uh artillery, of course. Uh these cannons are not very powerful, but they can be very good in close range combat. So this is why we are adding them here. Uh, let's do that. And we also gonna give them uh, we give them uh United States muskets, but for some reason they are still having civilian ones. 
we should have done this before, but I was a little bit distracted uh, by the fight in the north. I did not expect that to happen. Because they were just standing there all the time and did nothing. So... I did not expect them to, to charge. This is good. Uh, Clinton, uh, you can do the same, I believe. And we can give you an artillery battery. Let's switch. Uh, what's happening with these guys? I'm not sure why their provisions are so low. Hmm. Okay, enemy reinforcements are coming in, so that means that we should retreat. You guys move up. As well, you're gonna go back. Supply wagon. Our horsemen. Uh, these are German mercenaries. And they're professional soldiers. They're gonna be very tough to deal with. At least they don't have any cannons. So we're gonna try to utilize our cannons if we can. Otherwise, this could be a bit dangerous for us, but we will see. Come on, boys, get closer. You can see that they um, they have like basically they're like grenadiers. Maybe they are even better than grenadiers on average. I did not expect much with them, but they're very strong in melee. They're gonna probably try to charge us. We need to put our uh, our cannons to work here. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to fight them off. Even though we have a numerical superiority, I think that our positioning is good though. Mm, let me check. We might need to retreat. Hmm. Uh, do we have skirmishers in the middle? I'm looking for them, but yeah, we have. You guys just gonna go forward. And their job would be to delay the enemy move up hmm. uh, this flank is somewhat weak you're gonna be here and uh, you're gonna be here uh, with those skirmishers yeah, let's just go forward and we will see what we can find. Uh, these guys gonna hold their position. Hmm. What do we do with our cannons? Move to the flank. Do we put them forward or do we leave them where they are? They might not be able to fire properly. Let me check. Cannons and cannons and cannons and cannons. Yeah, mortars are in front.
So what are we gonna do? We're gonna push our guys in here. And we're gonna have you guys go go forward just like that. Uh or can we? Like what if they hit us before we can get into position? That would that would be really bad. Uh, we'll keep our cavalry in the flank. Uh, you dude gonna move up. Form a line there. Uh, let's start and see what's happening. Where... I feel like we need more troops on this flank. Uh, let's move back. Move George Washington to the left. Because this is where we are particularly thin. I'm just gonna stand there and harass them as they're coming in. Even if they try to charge us... Oh. Uh, cavalry is moving to the, the center of the battlefield. For no apparent reason. Come on, guys. Move there. Oh. Run. Run, run, run. Uh, we'll just try to make them tired. Okay, you can move up. You move to the flank. Okay, we need to retreat. Look at that. A lot of friendly fire. Our cannons are not really in a good position. I didn't see that. They're quite exposed. Hell, there's nobody next to the cannons. Okay, these guys surrendered. Oh, yeah. Oh, our skirmishers are getting hammered. Run, 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 boys. Uh, let's keep cavalry on the flank in case they decide to do something stupid. And they're charging in. Come on, let's force them back. No, no, no. 
move back. Come on. Are we controlling cannons? I don't think so. No, it's a, it's a slaughter here. Uh, let's charge them in. Charge in. Come on, guys. Can we break them before they destroy our cavalry? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, oh, boy. We gotta do the same type of work. Uh, where is our cavalry on this flank? She's gonna go after them. Go pursue and kill whatever you see moving. Charge in. Charge in. These guys should be dead, I assume. Go for that guy. We've got a lot of kills. It's all about cannon positioning. If you position your cannons properly, you can do a lot of harm. If not, well... They can punch through you because they're, they're better than our infantry. Let's speed it up. Or actually, we have to... Sorry, guys. We have to order them not to fire because they're going to kill a lot of our own guys here. We don't really need that. Hold fire. Uh, these guys are not really utilizing their cannons, so... Let's go. Make them surrender. Cavalry, go after them. Uh, these guys are running away. We want to see if we can kill them all. And so that we don't have to fight them again. Because there will be third invasion. Uh, these guys seem quite a bit depleted. 65, 75. Oh, let's speed it up. We're going to do what we can here. We're not going to be perfect. But we did not take heavy casualties. I would say maybe a few hundred, three or four hundred, maybe even five, but probably less than the previous battle. Uh, they're going to run away. There's nothing much we can do. Two hundred and forty casualties. We really destroyed them. But this is where you have cannon superiority. You use your cannons correctly. Cannons in front. Your line infantry behind to protect them, and they're gonna destroy the enemies. Oh, what can we do? Spotting, we don't really care. Firearms, nah. Melee, oh yeah. Look at them. They're getting destroyed. A 
Okay, they managed to surrender. We're just gonna move you in position. These guys should also move in position. Uh, you're gonna move and take their rifles. What's happening with New York? New York is good. Hmm. I'm not gonna read everything just because this episode would be too long. And there is a third invasion, as we said. Three invasions in New York. Like 20,000 men, for sure. Maybe even a little bit more. Okay, now uh, George Washington can go back. We can move. We can move forward. You guys also. Come on. They have a lot of cavalry here. Mm. Nah, we're not gonna fight yet. Ah, uh, let's... Okay, let's fight. I'm afraid they're just gonna flee. And they might be able to go behind our lines. This is my, my fear. But we might be able to destroy their, their two regiments of cavalry. Uh, we are positioned awkwardly here. Uh, let's... Put our cannons towards the enemy. I need to stop the game. Just to see where I am and where the enemy en enemies are. Our own cavalry is in the middle. <laughs> what do we do here? What do we do? So the enemy is going to come from this side. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's use our skirmishers on that flank. We, do we just make them flee? Maybe that would be the smartest idea here. To move up with our infantry and just destroy their cavalry. Make them run away. Before their main army can, can show up. I see a lot of friendly casualties here. Uh, one of the good things is this is actually militia. There's no way we can catch them up. So let's go back. Uh, and see what happened on the map. I hope they're going to surrender. But I don't think so. We really did not kill enough of them. Why are we always going to Boston? Hmm. Let's have a militia regiment here because I'm afraid they're gonna occupy Fort Montgomery if we're not uh, careful. No, no, no. You guys. Uh, let's pay for it.
you guys move up. We're gonna miss a lot of troops at the start, but we're gonna get cavalry quickly, so... Now oh, we have to fight. The more you wait, the less time you have to organize your battle sometimes. You can be put in a really, really precarious position. So let's see what is the deployment. I, I wish we could deploy independently of the, the, the battle itself. Like, okay, this is your deployment zone, this is the enemy deployment zone, and you kind of choose. Uh, feels like there is a battery in the middle. Let's see. Yep. There is an enemy battery. Why the hell are you fleeing? Uh, we need George Washington there. Uh, I think we should retreat. Here, just go back. Uh, you guys gonna go to the middle, and the, this battery, this bad boy. Well, what is this? This is a uh, mortar. You guys go there. How about here? This is also mortar. Uh, you're gonna come close. You're gonna be on the flank. We're just gonna do this. But you're gonna move forward. And as we said, George Washington will go there. We're soon gonna get some cavalry. Uh, these guys gonna hold the ground. Uh, try not to be in the, the canister range on F enemy cannons. Uh, let's send skirmishers. Ah, to the flank. You guys are gonna move up. You guys are gonna go there. And we will see. We will see how this one plays out. You guys are gonna also go to the flank. Our guys in a really bad position here. For some reason they're they're breaking. She's gonna protect our cannons, and as soon as they get into position, we're gonna fall back. What do we do with you, though? Uh, enemies have a lot of troops here, so maybe it's not not the best idea to fight there. Which is gonna fall back. You guys are gonna go there. We're gonna move you like this. In your place, we're gonna place uh, infantry unit. Oh my god. No, 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 no. You guys are gonna go back. And you guys are not gonna do anything stupid. Uh, let's form a line here. Uh, these guys are gonna crumble if pressed a bit harder. So let's change things. Let's put a George Washington where where he can actually support our troops. The, this organization is terrible. We don't have enough time. Come on. You have to move up. Oh, no, no, no. Your mortars. Keep firing. Uh, you guys go back. Our flanks are being exposed here. Uh, we have mortar on this side, so it should help us a little bit. And uh, we're gonna send uh, cavalry force. Over there. We need some men ASAP. 
this guy's gonna break. Are these guys also gonna break? You guys gonna fall back. Uh, there's a problem here. Maybe cavalry could be used to kind of reassure the flank. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys are in a bad position there. Hold. Such a mess of a battle. I was hoping for a more structured one, to be honest. You're gonna move ahead. Okay, cavalry here is in position. Uh, you guys gonna go there. This is a very big unit. Okay, let's let's try to activate our cavalry just to protect our our flank here because it's in danger of collapsing. Oh yeah, they're routing. They are routing indeed. Uh, this is a mortar company. You guys come closer. Uh, we're risking our cavalry here. They're probably gonna break. <laughs> Just because there's a lot of en enemy infantry there. Uh, let's move up. You guys go back to your water position. Are we getting reinforcements here or not? Yeah, we are. But they're in a really awkward position. So let's let's move them on this flank. Uh, let's go back with the cavalry. We took some real beating on this flank. Let's go. Charge into them. They have no... Now we're gonna go from the flank. Move up. And we're gonna charge them from here. Maybe they're gonna get some penalty for being flanked. Okay, our cavalry is not shattered. But did not uh, did not bode well against the enemies. They did a lot of harm to the enemy, but they suffered a lot of casualties. Okay, our reinforcements are coming in, so let's push them there. No need to kind of over-focus on, on this flank. And uh, we're winning anyways. You don't need everybody to be there. We literally demolish this unit. He's gonna pull back with our cavalry. We do not want to deplete another cavalry regiment. Because we already have problems with one. Uh, you guys gonna reform. Uh, you guys gonna get into a better position. Uh, you guys gonna support this right flank. The main idea was to push, to allow enemy to push in the center and uh, to wait it with the with the cannons, but enemies are focusing more on our flanks for some reason. 
they were able to outmaneuver us in many ways. This is the reason for some of the, the heavier casualties that we took this time around. Uh, you guys gonna form up. And you guys gonna go up. And uh, the rest of our cavalry should reunite. Even though beaten, they, they can still do a lot of a lot of harm to the enemies. Especially if they are playing. Shoot. Should we charge in? Oh no 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 Don't use canister. Damn it. That canister shot was terrible. Literally terrible. You guys fall back. We're getting reinforcements on this flank. Uh, these guys are almost out of ammo. They did get a lot of a lot of kills. Uh, let's focus on those guys. Uh, maybe we can use our cavalry to charge in there. Hit in the flank with those those guys. Let's move up. They gonna be. I feel it. Uh, let's fall back with these guys. They're really suffering quite a bit. We have some fresh reinforcements. Now nah, you guys gonna just reform. Mm. Should we be pushing here? He kills. He kills only mortars. Okay. And now is the time to mop them up. Go after them one at a time. Charge in, charge in. Mm, this time around, we took over a thousand casualties, I'm sure. So it was not as smooth as the previous two battles, but. I guess this is something that you have to, to take into consideration. Sometimes enemies don't really fall for your plans. Uh, these guys gonna, f they're gonna flee. So we will try to catch them if we can here. If uh, not, we're going to use our cavalry to run them down. Let's see. And again, I forgot something very important, and that is to order our cannons not to fire this time. Hold, hold, hold fire. We do not want any... Any more casualties? Look at these guys, they're getting hammered. Completely annihilated. No, no, you guys fight with them? Uh, we're gonna be chasing after those guys. No, no, no. Give me cavalry. Cavalry. Go after them.
How are they not surrendering here? That's a big question. Okay, their grandiers are being destroyed. Our cavalry had some success. Come on, help them out. And we're done when it comes to invasions. For now, of course. Uh, let's go back to the global map. Yeah, over a thousand casualties. I, I did uh, good calculations. But enemy lost four times as much. And we did not lose a single cannon. Not too bad. Not too bad. It wasn't perfect, but not too bad. I'm just worried about enemy cavalry in our back. Although we have a unit in... Uh, Fort Montgomery now, so they should not be attacking immediately. Uh, let's let's check it out. Let's see if they surrender. Or they still put up a fight. They did surrender. Okay, we're gonna use George Washington for that. We're gonna give these guys... This is Cavalry Regiment. Just like that. Uh, before we, uh, before we stop here, I just wanted to show you the map. Uh, you can see that it's expanding on this side. Uh, the next target probably for us should be some of their forts along the way here. Uh, to the north they have more and more. Uh, there is Ontario Lake, uh, and uh, they have quite a few men here. So this will be the focus of our campaign from now on. And of course, we will have to fight off the enemy invasions as they come in. But this is this was the, the largest invasion and we came really, really well prepared, as you can see. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will continue this uh, some other time and uh, stay safe. See ya. Bye bye.